Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a colour and chat. Just a quick note, this is an adult channel and all the videos on the channel are for adults and in no way, shape or form made for or intended for children. Um, today we're just going to colour in um, Girlfriends by Deborah Muller and I'm going to use the Limache watercolour brush pens because, you know, I fancy using them. Don't use them that often, um, other than pattern books, so I thought we'd give it a go. So I've had this one for a while, haven't done anything, so this is in keeping with my trying to clear some of my unused, uncoloured books, which is great because I've actually got, how many on the go? One, two, three of my uncoloured books. I've actually started pictures in, or I've done a picture in, um, Carl's, Hannah Carlson's Daydreams, it's downstairs, and I'm doing one in a Camellia Angel Cover pattern book, which I haven't done before, and now this one, which is great. So that's at least, that's three, so I can colour whatever I want to from any of the others, although I do need to do one of my Jade Summers. I've got a pattern book, I'll probably use that. Um, yeah, so the plan is to try, uh, rather than buy a lot of books, is try and do pictures in the ones I've got. So we're going to do this one today, and I've chosen uh, this picture of the two girls. Um, Forever friends or friends forever. I'm just going to tuck this bit under. I always do this. Um, so yeah, let's get going. So it's not these aren't the best colours for skin, but I don't care. It's a bit of fun. It's just to have a chat, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's a very pinky colour. The brown is a bit too. The beige colour is a bit too beige, but I might use that on the other girl. So, how are we all? We're good here. Um, how is it wherever you are in the world? England has, oh, it's very pink, announced that they're going to go into lockdown uh, as of Wednesday, but can you do it from tomorrow? Immediately. Um, basically, they're shutting all the schools until, they say the end of January, but possibly until what would be classed as half-term break. Um, so we'll have to see uh, what happens there. I mean, I'm in Wales, so that doesn't... Oh, gosh, you just look very blotchy. Never mind, it doesn't matter, it's a bit of fun. Um, yeah, so... Sh yes, so it's just waiting for them to decide uh, what's going to happen with Wales, although they are talking about the schools not going back to the 18th of uh, January here, although that is subject to change and could change at any time. They may decide to follow suit um, and close them even longer. They'll probably announce that actually in... Um, February once they get uh, well, sorry uh, at around the 18th of January when we get to that to see how it's doing so nurseries are still open at the moment so that's good Jennifer can still go to her nursery um, obviously previously the nurseries were closed as well so that was good so yeah this is she looks like she's been out in the sun too long doesn't she so it's all about having a laugh and trying well, maybe she has. She's got very bare legs, so I think she needs to, to get out of the sun and have a... That's just my phone pinging. <laughs> I love just making... We've got to make mistakes. It's all about having fun, and uh, it doesn't bother me. It's just it's colouring. It's, it's not meant to be... I'm not Picasso. Some people don't think Picasso is art. Um, I'm not Van Gogh. I am just me having a laugh and chatting to you in a catch-up. So Jennifer went back to nursery today. She didn't really want to go. I think it's because she'd been off for like over a week because they were closed over Christmas and New Year. But she was all right now. She'll be fine tomorrow when she goes back in. Um, yeah, work was okay. Um, few uh, minor hiccups at our end where my, like you know, my car's not working. And um, yeah, my car's not working, the battery's dead on it, and again, waiting for the mechanic. He'll be out on Wednesday to take it to his house to charge it up, it's fine. Just means we have to walk her down, I don't mind that. Mm, is that the one I had, or is it the next one over? And then after that, it's, um, that, that one. What happened then? Yeah, then our printer decided to pack up on the weekend as well, and I've got lots of colouring pages I want to, uh, print out. I think this one's going to be a slightly better colour actually looking at. Um, so I've ordered a new one. don't know when that's coming. And then this morning our kettle tripped off all the sockets so that's knackered and I ordered a new one but that came today because I managed to get it on one day prime. It's, she's quite brown so she looks, she actually just looks fairly tan doesn't she? She's going to be red hair because she's gone pink. Anyway. <laughs> 
I wouldn't normally use these, but I thought I'd just use them for a change, see what they look like. Um, they are quite blotchy. They're good for patterns though. I like them for patterns. Very much so. And it's my colouring. I'm not feeling too brilliant at the moment with it. I mean, I'm enjoying it, obviously. So, But you can get colouring burnout, which is why I've set aside two days for filming, which is Mondays and Thursdays, and the rest of the time I can do what I want. So, for instance, I've decided to do a lot more reading and shed a colouring. So this channel started off as a booktube channel. I used to get hauls and read lots of books and talk about them and I, I stopped doing that because when Jennifer was born and started getting to a stage where she wasn't sleeping all the time, I just couldn't read because I just didn't have the time and I stopped reading. Not completely, I still read, I just didn't read as much as I used to. So I've started getting back into the reading now, and uh, which is good. So I've decided to do a few um, book reviews and wrap-ups of reading wrap-ups. So um, one of the um, YouTube booktube channels I follow is uh, The Binge Reader, which is Missy. She, every year, and she has done it for a few years, and I've done it in the past, she's done, she does a Stephen King readathon, where you read one Stephen King book a month, and I have done it in the past, um, but the last two years I haven't, because I just haven't had time, and I've decided this year I'm going to join in. So January's book is Dreamcatcher. So I've got my copy and I have started it, but it's a very big book. It's like 692 pages, and I'm on page like eight. <laughs> But that is understandable, it's going to take a long time for me to uh, get there uh, with it, so yeah, you know what it's like. And yeah, it is very hard to read when you've got a little one, but I am making um, time in the evenings um, to read, so if I'm not... Uh, colour in, uh, you know, I might colour for like five ten minutes and watch booktube or colour tube and then I'll stop and I'll I'll read a book for a bit even if it's just one chapter which for me isn't because we're on day four because I'm filming this on Monday the 4th and I've already finished three books this month already which is this is what I used to be like these books I've been reading on my phone um, so they're very easy for me to read if uh, Jennifer wants to sit on me and watch TV. She sits on my lap and snuggles down. But I can still read if I'm holding my phone. I can't read a, a proper book. So the proper books I'm keeping upstairs in the bedroom and just reading a little bit before I go to bed. So when I finished making this video at some point, I will, you know, then... Uh, start editing the video together, put it on my laptop, edit it together and start I might curl, curl up and start reading. So Stephen King's Dreamcatcher. I did win the film in a competition, a radio competition years ago and it was a dreadful movie. I hated it and I thought what on earth is... I didn't understand it, it didn't make sense. So but then uh, Missy said she didn't enjoy the film either so I thought oh, it's, not, it's not just me then it's just a bad adaptation. Now with Stephen King sometimes they can be really good but not always. So uh, yeah we got that. Uh, it's quite nice. Yeah. So I don't know if that's supposed to be a skin or Part of her top. Looking at it, I'd say it's part of her skin, so I'm going to find that pink again. Never mind doing a minute. After we've done her hair. So, yeah, it's a very big book. And then the next one in February is one I love, and I love the movies The Green Mile. 
Now I've read that before but I don't own a copy of it so I'll be glad to add a new paperback edition to my growing Stephen King collection. So I was doing this, I did this a couple of years. I already had a couple of books because Paul often buys me Stephen King because um, he knows I love Stephen King. Uh, that was that one I used. So he um, often buy, would buy me Stephen King so he bought me like, what was it, 22? 11, 22, 63 or 60, yeah, the the one about the Kennedy assassination one Christmas and I read that and I've kept that because it's, it's a paperback and he's bought me, uh, I think, Bizarre Bad Dreams he bought me and I've read that last one that she's reading this year, which I've already read, but that's because she's read Dreamcatcher, so um, she was doing it in conjunction with uh, somebody else and their... Um, readathon so she can do two readathons in one go I'm not doing that I'm just doing the Stephen King one so where she's put books like Tommy Knockers which I've read I'll replace it with a, a book that she did in a previous year and I can just go back on her her booktube videos and see which ones she's used and I'll make a list and uh, of uh, alternates for when I've read the ones I've read um so yes that'll be fine I'm looking forward to that I'm it's going to be enjoyable I think. Very enjoyable. Um, I'm also reading a book called The Jean Harlow Films, which is a retrospective of Jean Harlow's film career, which is very interesting because I, I love that. And then the other one I've got on my list to read, it's not a, a proper TBR, is the Andrew Firth book, um, Pictures from the Abyss. I've started reading it. It's, just, it, it's an awkward size. Um, so it makes it very difficult to actually read but uh, it's gorgeous so I might have a quick look at that tonight um, but I really want to get stuck in with the uh, Dreamcatcher because I said the Jean Harlow one it's not for a readathon um, I can catch up with it I wanted to read uh, like about one film a night so I, I can still probably do that or every other night or something so I'm determined to hit my um, goal on Goodreads which I've set to the same as last year which was 75 and I was everybody and like everybody else I start the year well like reading a ton of books and then it uh, all gets to pot so uh, once when I finish this I'm going to I might go and watch one of Missy's uh, videos just to see what uh, they read last year and I don't really need to watch it but I will because it's usually quite fun she's quite fun I have got one colouring book coming that's not Colouring Heaven or A Jade Summer and that is yet another Camellia Angel Cover pattern book because I do like them and I will um, add that to my pile. I do like those pattern books, you know, and I am doing one in one at the moment which is really nice. It's just quite detailed so I'm using fine liners. I don't normally use fine liners. Yeah, so far, so good. Anyway, in it. I just wish it didn't have to work, but then we all think like that, don't we? we? Nobody wants to work. Not really. Unless you're a really good actor and you're you're in something brilliant and you love your you love acting. <clears throat> you know, so So I did watch the Doctor Who uh New Year special, which I quite enjoyed. I enjoyed it. They were they filmed, did some filming, um uh, where I used to live in a uh, place called Yate on one of the roads. It's a road that was never completed so it's called the road to nowhere but it's always used for filming like for for casualty and uh, the, the broad church filmed there. Doctor Who's filmed there because they don't have to close roads and they can just film there without any interruption and issues. So it's really cool. Um, but uh, And on the Clifton Suspension Bridge which was fun to see. My bridge as I call it. So it's not really well it's my hometown but you know um I quite enjoyed it it was nice to see Jack's back and there was a hint that of torture would maybe coming back because he's gone off to check on Gwen Cooper even if it's a one-off it'd be really cool I used to love Torchwood and then there was news uh rumors now coming out that Jodie Whittaker is quitting the role after three seasons which is standard and um, most of them do three seasons and then 
then give up. So that's not particularly groundbreaking, but we will have to to see whether or not she does. She might do. But then who are we going to get next? Is it going to be a man? Is it going to be a woman? Will they be white, black, Asian? I, I mean, I'm, I'm at the point where I don't actually care as long as they're a good actor and the scripts are good. To me, it's, it's not important what gender they are um, or what colour a person is, as long as they're a good actor and that the scripts uh, are good. Because there's no point in having, the, you could have the best actor in the world, you could have Brad Pitt playing the Doctor or Angelina Jolie um, or even Meryl Streep, one of the best actors in the world, and the scripts end up to it, it's a waste of time. So I'm hoping that they will have, this time, a good uh, set of scripts. Um, uh, and I think people will mostly agree that if the scripts are good, it doesn't matter who plays the Doctor. You know, get a good actor. And the, but more importantly, it's the scripts that are important. If they're not good, it's pointless. And that's been part of the problem with these. Some of the scripts haven't been that good. Jodie's really good. Um, she's grown me. I was a bit unsure of it at first, but she had some very funny moments in the first episode, which was great. You know, um, when she said how much she'd missed the TARDIS and the TARDIS opened the door, that was so moving. I thought it was just sweet. So I would like, I don't know who I'd like to see as the Doctor. I don't really have any preference as long as they're a good actor or actress. It makes nothing, it means nothing. To me it's the, the like I said, the gender or the colour of the actor is the least important part of it. The most important part is the script. Obviously we want somebody who's good because, ugh. If they're not good it's really pointless but uh, I think we'll have to wait and see obviously it's gonna be a while they're currently filming uh, the next series at the moment but then another t another report said she wasn't gonna leave anytime soon so uh, she was planning on staying for a bit longer so who knows mm. you just you just don't know really it's Oh, it could all be pie in the sky. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But, yeah. So. I do hope everybody's okay. And that, the uh, You're all enjoying yourself. What are you colouring? Is there anything particularly you would like to see me colour in? Um, I'm quite happy to take on requests. I always do. Um, I did have a look at a few other books, the Selena Fennec ones, but I wasn't really feeling it. There are some really nice pictures in there, but I, had, I wanted to use markers or some sort of pen today and I didn't really feel the markers in that book. So what I'll probably do is do one of the Selena Fennecks in another one. So I've got three books from Selena Fennec. I've got the fairy tales and other fables um, and two fairy books. So would you like me to do one from fairy tales and other fables or would you like me to see me colour a fairy? will be pencil. I just don't see the markers in those books for some reason. I don't know why. I've got other Fennec books, they're just ones that I haven't coloured in. Or I could do a Kelly Horton picture or Hannah Carlson. So many books. Or I've got the other Doctor Who book, we could do one in there. I've got two Doctor Who books, but we could do a Doctor Who picture, if you would like. I've got gnomes in the neighbourhood. Just have a look at my uh, flip-throughs and hauls and my colouring book collection from last year. And if you see anything you want me to colour in, let me know. I'm happy to do that. This one's not going to take too long. But, uh, to 
be honest, we might even finish it today because we're only 20 minutes in. So far there has been, in the UK we've had one celebrity death this year. We lost Jerry Marsden who was 78. He was the front man for the 60s band. Jerry and the Pacemakers had a hit in the uh, 1989, I think it was, in the 1980s with um, You'll Never Walk Alone after the Hillsborough disaster. They are very sad. Um, I met him once actually at uh, Blackwood Mines Institute. He was playing a gig there. Very nice man, good sense of humour. Really, no, he was a really nice chap, I'll admit, I, did, I did, did like him very much. So, yeah, there's that. So that's that, and, and, and an American actress, and I do apologise, I can't think of her name offhand, and I really, really don't know her very well, um, has died as well, so that's two already this year. She, I think she was in Charlie's Angels or something, but I'm not sure who she was, because... Uh, It just keeps, you know, it's like, who's next? All the good people are going. All the true stars. We do have a few good stars these days. There's, a lot of it's just like reality TV stars. To me, they're not stars. They're not celebrities. They're just like, ugh. So. Me and Paul did watch um, The Masked Singer this week. I'd never seen it before. But we watched it, um, and it was Mel B was the one that was unmasked. It was really good. We really enjoyed trying to guess who it was. And, um, yeah, it was really cool. Like I said, never watched it before. I'm looking forward to watching it again next Saturday because I enjoyed it so much. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. So, yeah, that's a, that's a, a new one to me. I've never, like I said, I've never seen that one before, but uh, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it, so I'll look forward to seeing the next episode. I watched a bit of The Voice, but it was getting a bit late, and then we went to bed, because we were tired. The costumes are crazy on The Masked Singer. Good, but crazy. And the voice was okay. Yeah, I don't think that was her face, but it doesn't, there's no check on her face, so it looks like she's got a really funny face. But that happens sometimes. I ain't worrying about it. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. So, eBay day tomorrow. I did do a bit of, um, Getting some drafts ready yesterday, so they'll be going up tomorrow. I could probably put them up tonight, but I'm not going to bother because tomorrow is eBay. So I'm going to put up um, five listings, get another as many as I can ready for the next day, get as many photographs as I can done, and and just get it all ready so I can put them up every day. But as I've, I'm not really starting it until tomorrow. I, I'm just going to make it start tomorrow with new listings. It's very hard work trying to fit everything in at the moment. So I'm just going to give myself a break. And, you know, as like I said, I'm going to do colouring videos on Monday. eBay photos on Tuesday. Drafting I sort of do as and when I can throughout the week if I get a minute. You know, like if I finish colouring chat and it's not too late, then I might do a bit of drafting then. Um... And then Wednesday is my night off for what I'm calling Project Angel. This is something uh, I'm going to be working on myself, um, but nobody knows about it. So this is a little personal project that I wanted to do for a while. So I'm going to start it, see how it goes. It's not going to be a waste of time because it's learning something and I always like to learn things. And, I, I, you know, I can spend as much time on it then on the, in the evening as I want. So I could spend an hour, an hour and a half, two hours on it, like I would sometimes colouring or eBaying, 
or I could just spend half an hour on it if I'm not feeling it even if I just do a little bit it will be great so I'm not worrying too much about where I'm starting it's um, a very in, in the way I'm sort of projecting is a bit in it's just different it's it's not like researching something in a normal manner whereas you you know it's researching bits and bits and bits but it's going to be fun um, I haven't set up a, a space on my laptop for it yet that will be very soon and then uh, obviously Thursday we'll be back to filming a colour and chat so a couple of days will have passed I'll have something to tell you I'll let you know how Project Angel's going on how I'm doing my eBay and then Friday yeah that'll probably be an eBay night it won't be as hard on as the, um, the Tuesday but it will be an eBay night and I will be doing um, photos probably be clothing I think it's going to be cameras and games and things tomorrow and then it'll be clothing on Friday which is fine now my battery's about to die at 25 minutes so I'm going to turn it off and put a new one in to you in a minute okay that's all changed now that's done so right we'll do her hair next so we nearly finished this already there's not a lot left to do just the mugs her hair and eyes and shoes and then the background so sometimes it's nice just to have a, a quick one and sometimes you want something that lasts a bit longer so like I said let me know what you think and the idea is that on the weekends I don't have to do anything if I don't want to other than putting listings up or um, pre-recorded videos so it'd be flip throughs probably um, unless I've got something important to say which let's be honest I never got anything important to say um, but yeah so that's the plan we'll um, It gives me the weekend off just to chill and and colour what I want or if I want to work more on the my project I can or I can read so that that's the plan whether or not it'll actually work I don't know at the moment yeah I'm sticking to the plan <laughs> but it is only day one so got a lot to do but it's the only way I'm going to get it all done is if I set, have set days for doing things and make sure I have the weekends off to spend with Paul and Jennifer and just to chill out and read. So, I mean, after I've done this, I, I might read. I might watch a bit of Melissa or Missy. I might um, colour and watch Missy. Sometimes I, I watch YouTube and colour. It depends on what time it is when I finish. I mean, I know we're nearly at uh, 30 minutes, but we're a bit, bit off yet. We're all right, we've got a bit of time. So I've missed a bit of her green shirt. I've just realized, hmm. Better go back and finish that off then. That's okay, no one's in on. <laughs> You know, sometimes you just totally miss things and you're like, ugh, what am I doing? I can't remember what colour I used. I think it was, I hope it was this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I missed a bit. Sometimes you just give up. I do, I have to give up. I don't know where there are flowers, but I don't know whether, what, what it is. Is it, a, is it um, wallpaper or... Are they inside? Are they outside? They look like they're sitting on steps, but the steps would mean they're going up to a building, but, oh, I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Ah. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Deary me. What a day. Yeah, so it's just a matter of clinging on. We gotta cling on. There we are, that one will do. I don't know where that came from. It hasn't got a number on it. I'll put it there. <laughs> They're all supposed to be numbered. They're not all numbered. Um. Pale blue for her, for the mugs. Now I don't know how pale this blue is going to be because, you know, it's quite pale actually. So that's a lovely colour. 
I might even use that for the background. Maybe not that shade, but just a lovely colour. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice colour blue. There's, there's so many lovely blues in this set of pens. This um, Limoche. Excuse me pronouncing them silly. Now, I've got some colours out because I use them for my um, colour by number book. So, I'm just going to do her nail and her toenails. And as they're friends, they both got the same nail polish on. Well, she's only got one, so ha, good. Might use that for the flowers as well. Now she needs eyes, so again, we use a blue. Mm -hmm. I really like these Deborah Muller books. They are so freaking cute. They really are lovely. I really like them, so. Yes, yeah, that's right, nice colour. They are so cute. I'm trying to get some more Deborah Mullers. I've got, I've got a few. They got, I can see where they are on my bookshelves now because there's so many of them and they've got the same spines. I like that. When you get enough book of one book, one artist you can see where they are by the spines <laughs> like the camellia angel covers and the colour in heaven ones are obvious because they're very similar I like that I know then if I want I want to do Deborah Muller I fancy some Deborah Muller today I know exactly where to go to get them and I, this is the last one I have got that I haven't actually coloured in so I might have to treat myself to a new one next month I'll have to see there we go. All done. Lovely. Wrong way. So, um, have you guys got any really new books that you really like that you would recommend, or um, any new colouring supplies? I've recently used the metallic sharpies for the first time, which I really quite like. So, yeah, I like those. They're really good. Um, where did I put that red I was using? I'll put it back in here. I'll use this one. So, yeah, I mean, have you got anything like that that you could recommend? As long as it's not horrifically expensive. So, I mean, when I get my payout from... Um, Google if I ever get one because I'm still a long way off then I might actually buy something like some Copics to try or something like that I don't know yet I haven't decided but I might do and that way um, I can see what all the fuss is about and uh, if I really like them, then I might say, well, I'm going to have to get some more of these, so I'm going to be saving up. So, um, would you would you like to see what I think of those? Just so I can, um, when I get a, a Google Payout, I could possibly get some then, which might be fun. I'm going to do these flowers next, around the edge and in the middle. So, sorry I was talking off, I uh, wasn't doing anything then, but... Uh. So, yeah, I mean, if you'd like to see something like that, let me know. I'd be happy to, you know, get some when I've got the money. Uh, just, to, just to be like, say, a skin tone set or something to start off with. Because I know they are so expensive. I can't justify it out of my salary. But out of my YouTube money, I can. So... So that's up to you, just let me know if you'd like to see something like that. 
I would like to get some just to see what all the fuss is about. But they are so expensive. Now, I understand you can get refills, but I don't know where you can get them from in the UK. So I would have to look into that first as well because um, that's the thing with expensive markers well, you don't want to use them because they're going to run out but there's no point in having them unless you use them so. so yeah we'll have to see Let's see what happens. I'm all for doing things on a budget, but I do like to have some quality stuff like I've got my Prismas and my Polys. I'd love the Karen Dash, I'd love the Holbeins, but I can't justify the payment to pay, to pay for them. Um, they're just far too expensive for my budget. If I ever won the lottery, yeah, I'd be getting them all. I'd have all, all the supplies under the sun and multiples. But I don't, unfortunately. <laughs> don't have that kind of cash. Winning the lottery would be great. Can you imagine having a nice house with a beautiful sort of like conservatory which gets lovely light in it through most of the day you can set up all your colouring station and oh it'd be so beautiful of bookshelves and bookshelves of colouring books and trays of pens and pencils and pastels and all that good stuff and watercolor oh that would be a dream come true <laughs> but I don't buy a lottery ticket so it's not likely to happen I do occasionally buy a lottery ticket but uh, I don't often go into the shop at the moment with lockdown, so I could buy it online, but I just don't. I mean, sometimes if I go into the shop and I'm at the till, I think, oh, I'll have a lottery ticket. But it's very rare. I actually prefer to save the money, I've got to be honest. I haven't done that yet. So we are nearly done. It's all good. So my dad has currently got a problem with his hearing. He woke up the other day and couldn't hear anything. Um, it has come back now, but you can't get a hearing test anyway because everywhere's shut. Um, now the pharmacist at the... Um, pharmacy said that the doctors should have seen him to clear out any blockage that might be in there because it's probably a bit blocked but he, you know uh, it's just a blinking nightmare so so he, he, you know so he can't really drive because he can't hear properly he can't you have to shout it's driving my mum up the wall because he has the tv up so loud and she's deaf in one ear <laughs> oh it's all go but I uh, have to see about what we can find out about the uh, hearing test for him. I'm not sure what colours do these steps. I'm going to have to go with a, a dark grey and a light grey, I think. I'll use those two because they're the ones nearest to me. <laughs> so, we're nearly finished. I mean, I don't even have to finish it on camera, but we are about nearly 40 minutes in and there's not that much left to do so I'm thinking I might as well it's just this bit this, the sort of weird background and the ribbon around the edge so why not <laughs> why not let's make it a good long one so yeah I've got to try and find out some way of my dad getting his hearing tested so I'm going to have to have a look see what I can find out for him poor bugger it's not good really it's one thing after another at the moment isn't it what we locked down so he's obviously waiting for the covid vaccine but who knows when he's going to get it obviously he's over 80 now so they're supposed to be priority um but we will have to wait and see um 
I mean, some people, they, they have got a COVID tracker, um, vaccine tracker, which you put in certain information and it tells you when you're likely to get it. And there are some people who are, aren't getting dates to like June, July, September of 2022. And that's with the AstraZeneca vaccine going out, which is the, the one that was developed with Oxford University. So we ain't going back to normal anytime soon. No matter what Boris Johnson says. I mean, I feel sorry for the youngsters who are having their education disrupted, their socialising disrupted. It's hard. Those at university are not experiencing university the way you're meant to, you know. I mean, there's kids that are having to do remote learning and they can't get on with it, not because they're thick or stupid, but because they need the stimulus of being in a classroom setting. For me, I probably would have enjoyed home learning more because I was bullied at school. I probably would have done better being on my own. But it's not its not good. Kids need to be out socialising regardless. Um, I mean, like I said, at the moment, the nurseries are still open. They haven't closed and They did close them in March. So I'll just wait and see what happens. And the only good thing about that was it saved us a lot of money. Because, of course, if they're not open, we're not paying for a service. I suppose it should be the grey, really, but I ain't doing that grey. No. No. I'm just talking to myself about the colours I want to use on the background, the main bit. Because thinking about it, if these are steps, then that would be wall, so it would be grey. But I'm not going to do the grey. I could do it grey, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do a nice blue. Because why not? You can't have enough blue in your life, can you? Let's be honest. <laughs> not my best picture, I'll admit that, but hey... It's all about having fun, experimenting, and if you get it wrong, you get it wrong. So, you know, I'll probably keep my limoches mostly for patterns and the colour by numbers books, because they are good for those, and for other bits, but maybe not for people. They might be all right in, like, the Johanna Basford books or something like that, but not in the... Um... Not for doing people. I can't be bothered to blend with things like this. I mean, I might try it if I had something like the Copex, but on this, not so much. Right, I need a good yellow. Let's pick a yellow I've got down in here. Oh, I'm getting stiff. That's the only problem with sitting here for so long. You do get a bit stiff. There you go. So, just a very straight colour. Very quick, straight colour picture today to break in the new year I mean I might even start filming downstairs on the big table again just because although I love filming up here it's not the most comfortable when you're doing long ones like this it's all right for doing the flip throughs and stuff like that but doing this it's, it gets quite uncomfortable uh, let's have a nice pink for the thing we'll use this one the ribbon quite chilly tonight, you know. I like this book. It was a long time before I actually bought any Deborah Mullers, but I really like them. They, she has got a lot that I want to get as well and it's just a matter of I can't afford to pick them all up in one go she's such a prolific artist but, It's always interesting to see what these people are coming out with next. Like with the Jade Summer brand, 
they've asked what people would like to see this year I just like can't wait to see what they're going to do because as much as I like chibis in that I don't want it all chibi I like it when they do the realistic portraits as well because I like realistic portraits I think that's why I like the um color in heaven so much because when they are portraits they're quite realistic looking so There we are. It's just the background now. I'll pick a blue. Any blue, pick a blue. I like that pink actually, that's really nice. Ah, how about this one? I think that's when I did her eyes, so that's fine. Nearly finished. We'll have a quick look at it then when we've done it. Yeah, that's a nice colour, isn't it? It's a nice, it is a good way of seeing the colours colour in something like this even though we've we've swatched them and I've numbered them so I can see what they are it is really good sometimes to just do it like this so you can see what each colour looks like it's really good like I said I do use a lot of these in my um, colour by numbers books which is great they're great they are I'm really looking forward to curling up in a bit and reading a couple of chapters of that Stephen King book. I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. I really can't wait. So I haven't felt like that about reading for a long time. Sometimes it's it seems like a chore. But I think oh I've got to do this because oh I missed it. Um I've got to read something because I've got to hit my Goodreads challenge and or I'll start reading the book and I'm really enjoying it and then I get interrupted and I put it down and then I think I can't remember what I was doing with it or I get bored with something. I was reading a book called Jack the Ripper's House and it just got really boring at the end. It just went on for so long I was like, oh, yeah, no, can't be doing with that. So I stopped reading it. But then there were other books. I just pick them up and I, re I read them one go. Paul gave me a book for Christmas uh, by Lisa Jewell, which was called The um, Family Upstairs. Oh my God, it was so good. I read it in one go. I loved it. It was brilliant. Um, and that's the sort of thing I like. So it was a bit of a thriller. Very strange story, but very, very good. very very good book and again one I've read this month I'll, I'll talk about in my reading wrap up which I'm going to do every month um, it is um, called The Luxury uh, Orphanage which I've just finished I, well that was the first book I read this month I think it only came out last year but it was really good I've recommended it to Missy the Binge Reader because she likes stuff set in London which that is and it's paranormal it's uh, very sad, but it's absolutely brilliantly written. I really, again, just read it in one go. I've just got to move my leg because it's getting cramped. Oh, stretch it out there. Yeah, I read it in one go. It was such a good book. Can't remember. The second book was a short story called Misspelled, or at least it seemed like it. And the third one was part four of, uh, or the fourth instalment in the, uh, I've got to get this right now. The Perfectly Proper Paranormal Museum series by Kirsten Weiss which was called Chocolate a la Murder. Very good. I enjoy those. They're quite funny. And of course you get invested with the characters in the series. You start knowing them and you want to see what they're up to next. So I wasn't going to read it because I had to pay for it and I thought no do you know what I really do want to read it and it's only three quid so um, last week I bought, well last year, at the end of last year I bought the new Dave Turner one which was near, near life experience. I told you about that one. Again, I love those stories. Very good. I can't wait for the next one. There's always going to be a next one in some of these series. And you just can't wait. Well, at least I hope there's going to be a next one. But, uh, yeah. So are you reading anything good at the moment that maybe I might enjoy? You know what I like. Obviously, I like biographies and non-fiction. So anything you can recommend there is always going to be um, appreciated. And, of course, then there's... 
horror, paranormal, mystery, suspense, thrillers. Um, some romance, I, but I, I'm not really interested in stuff with in-depth sex scenes. It's, it's like, yeah, I know people have sex. I don't need to read about it, thank you. It doesn't do anything for me at all. It really, really doesn't. It's like, yeah, now get, can you get back to the story? You know, that's, yeah, it's nice they're having a little romance and they fancy each other. But can I just have the story, please? Can you just give me the... I want to know what's happening. I want to know what this is. I want to know what that is. I'm not really interested in the fact they're having sex. And I certainly don't need all the gory details. So, yeah, I'll, it does I don't need that. I know some people like it and that, that's fine. That, that's fine. I just... I'm there for the plot and the actual story, unless it's actually part of the story, important part of the story, it doesn't need to be there as far as I'm concerned. I mean, obviously if you're talking Fifty Shades of Grey, then you've got to have all that stuff, because that's what that's about, but... Which is why it's like, yeah, I read the first one, I'm like, nah. I don't need to read the others, I don't need to see the films. I don't need to see it from his point of view. Same with Twilight, it never appealed to me. That's not my vampire, that's not my kind of vampire, so. But people like it and I, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, I would never say don't read them, I would never say don't watch those films. The fact that you're reading and watching films is great. And I encourage that 100% no matter what it is you're watching, you know. If you, if you, if you enjoy things like that, then you should and the same with Harry Potter. I love the Harry Potter books. I've seen most of the films. I haven't seen them all. I'm sure I will eventually. What's going on outside? But yeah, so... I really uh, encourage people to read what they enjoy reading because there's nothing wrong. As long as you're reading, it doesn't really matter, does it, what you're reading? And how you're reading it. Now, I love a proper book. Don't get me wrong, I love to hold a physical book in my hand. And I have several hundred physical books in my house. But you can't keep them all, you know, especially if you're not going to read them again. So that's why I love uh, my Kindle. And then I buy books that I know I'm going to read again. I would like... Um, certain books in physical copies if I can get them because I'll, I know I'll read them again and again. I mean I can keep them on my Kindle as well so and do but yeah I've got a lot of books I've got books on every subject you can pretty much think about except for sex I said don't bother me I've got classics I've got poetry I've got biographies I've got autobiographies I've got fictional autobiographies I've got photo books, I've got books on photography, I've got books on ancient history, I've got books on modern history, I've got books on spiritualism and Wicca, I've got books on um, dreams, witches, I've got serial killer books, most notably Jack the Ripper, that's the main one. I don't really read a lot of other ones, although I do have a book called Victorian Scandals because my friend wrote it, <laughs> or the body under the, the battered body under the, pat uh, under the, What's it, the battered body under the something? Oh God, under the flagstones, I think it is, or something like that anyway, uh, by Michelle Morgan, which is a fab book for delving into Victorian mysteries and murders. So, but yeah, I, I mean, I like all that. I love learning things. And sometimes I'll pick up a book I've never read. So I picked up a book on the Holocaust to read that. I've picked up a book on the Romanovs to read those. Um, my big interest in history is specifically Egypt and ancient Egypt. But I will happily pick up a book on other subjects like the war or... Um, what have I got, for instance? I've got books on uh, making a living in the Middle Ages which is the people of Britain. I've got the diary of Anne Frank and I've got the biography of Anne Frank. I've got a book on archaeology. It's a manual. It's not, a, it's not a book to read. It is a literally, it is a university textbook almost. I've got, oh, so many different books and I love books. I've got a bookshelf full of colouring books. <laughs> yeah, bookcase full of colouring books. That's me. It's like people say colouring and collecting colouring supplies and books is two separate hobbies. It, they really are two separate hobbies. I collect colouring books and colouring supplies. I also use them. 
because uh, I like to colour, but the collecting is a separate thing from the actual using them. Although I am trying to use everything, at least this year is my cut down on the spending on books and supplies, save some more money because it's always nice to have savings, I've got to build my savings up and then I've got to pay my credit card bill um, just because I bought my laptop. I put it on my credit card just for safety, you know, because it's a big purchase. And then I've got to... Oops, just make sure I build my account back up and then I can spend some. When I get, like I said, if I get some payout from Google at any time, I'm not even worrying about it. Sometimes I look at what it's, it's estimating and sometimes, oh, what does it matter? They'll tell me. Got to set my payment though. And then I shall put some of it through my accounts for my taxes. And the rest of it will go into my account.